no, no thunder. <laughs> There's fish number two. number two on the day. Here we go, crappie number two. Crappie number two. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in southern Wisconsin right now, fishing with a good buddy of mine from college, Trevor. Right. Catching frame right there. Yeah. So we're actually on a small lake, electric only. Can't use any big outboards. So kind of disappointing because it's, it's a lake that we'd like to have an outboard on. It's big enough. Uh, but we're trying to find these crappie. They're just coming off their beds right now. Looks like they're just getting in that post spawn phase. Bluegill spawn is like peak right now. So mixture of bluegill and crappie, but caught one on a minnow. I caught one on a plastic. So yeah, deep weed or shallow weed lines. That's what it's looking like. Let's see if we can get some underwater footage. Just hammering off that log. There's like a there's a down tree right here. That's three in a row. You have missed a couple too. Like five minutes. Yep. I think I'm down. Yes, I am. Right. That might be a bass. Yeah. I don't know. I can't tell yet. Or it's a decent crappie. Or a bluegill. Is that a pumpkin seed? Fatty? Holy smokes. Yeah. That's a fat one. Look how fat that thing is. Oh, he, he choked that's what, his. that's what I thought earlier too when I had that bluegill on. I was like, geez, this thing is just heavy as hell. Yeah, that thing is super I fat. I had something big on too. It's super fat bluegills. Trevor up there, he's caught. How many crappie you caught so far? Four? Five or six. Five or six. He caught one decent one, so I figured let's turn the camera back on and actually show you some of these fish catches, but check this, how fat this bluegill is. Just a belly on that thing. Oh. I don't know if it was that big, but... Not that big, but... No. Disappointing to lose him at the boat. Yeah. Get him? Grubby. It's a good fish. Oh, I didn't get that quite on film, but whatever. We're good. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Slaying crappies. There you go. All day. Let's see what we got in the live well. Hard to see. Oh, yeah, it is hard to see him. A little largey. A little larger. And usually they're they have their own store. They have their own oh jeez. Oh they have their own their own I think that's a bass. Maybe not. Yeah, I think it is. Probably should set my drag. If it's a crappie, it's a big one. <laughs> Tell me it's a crappie. I think it's a bass. No, you're good. Yeah, it's a bass. Thank you. Thirty-second ounce jig head. There you go. That's what you need for bass fishing, right? That's right. That's a bee. That's a bee. No, thank you. Oh, there he is. Got him. What is he? Another crappie. Baby crappie. Yeah, it's a bee. I don't want to get stung by this bee. <laughs> God dang. Don't piss him off. I didn't do anything to him. He's just over there being a dingleberry. Likes your motor for some reason. Oh. I think there's a crappie sitting right at the V of the that the fork of the tree.
a little slab sauce on the goat minnows. Slab sauce it up. Oh, there we go. Oh, there he was. Get back in there. Have mine here. Oh yeah. I got some. There he is. Nice. That's a little crappie. That's probably the little guy that's been bothering us. See you, bud. Well, uh, the day actually is gonna end here. I know I didn't get a whole lot of footage, but I'll kind of explain our entire setup when I get back home. Yeah, we didn't think it was this gonna be this bad of thunderstorms, but uh, we we just had a, I think it was a grounder, right? That was a grounder, like, I don't know, pretty pretty damn close. So we're gonna get off the water right now. What sucks is this, this lake is purely electric, so yeah. Trevor's on the trolling motor, got it all maxed out. Big motor. No good. Yeah. No, no thunder. He's <laughs> just a dud. Oh, it's over there now. We're gonna take a little weather delay right now. I'm filming on my phone because I don't want to bring the big camera out. But yeah, there was like two grounders that were really close, really close. I'm gonna let you take the minnows because I'm clearly missing the bites. So go right there. He's on the left side. Get him. Is that another crappie? Oh, geez, he almost broke my rod. Keeper for this lake. So we got about 10 or 12 crappie in here. The crappie in this lake don't get a huge, but uh, it's still fun to catch them. The biggest ones are probably going to be a 10 to 12 inches. Uh, most of the ones we got are like that nine and a half to 10 and a half inch range. So still good eating, but uh, very simple setup. Slip bobber, split shot, Aberdeen hook, live minnow. Pretty much the same setup we were using on Lake of Egypt. Um, so yeah, we're just casting in, finding just random pieces of wood in the water and uh, weed lines, just that first section of weed lines, that's where they're sitting, five feet of water. There he is. And that would be a crappie. That's another one for the live well. I'm trying to save on some minnows. Ten, maybe. Ten and a quarter, maybe. Something like that. There's another one for your live well, though. I'm not recording, though. No, I am. Well, guy. Soft, soft bite. After the rainstorm, man. You want him? He's borderline. Well, you're the one cleaning them up, yeah. so I mean. <laughs> Here we go. There he is. The live well. Oh, we lost it. All right. Well, there we go. It's about a ten and a ten and a half inch northern Wisconsin crappie. Just a very simple setup. These fish, it looks like they just got done spawning. Um, some of the males are kind of close to the beds, uh, but we're catching them like five feet of water. Uh, normally, we probably, if they're on their beds, they're probably in like two feet, would be my guess. Mm -hmm. So 
they're pushed off a little bit and some deeper weed lines and we're just throwing some bobber setups with some jigs and that was just a little plastic that looks kind of like a shad a little minnow and live minnows so we're, we're in southern wisconsin not northern i'm always in northern wisconsin it seems like Yeah, it's a little gloomy outside. Unfortunately, I didn't go fishing today, but that's going to wrap up this video. Huge thank you to Trevor and to his two boys who just started watching my channel. Hi to both of you. Your dad's on YouTube, um, but huge thank you to Trevor for taking me out in his boat. Uh, Trevor and I played college baseball together. Uh, we fished That lake that we fished on was actually not too far from the school we went to. Fish in that lake don't get very big. There's some pretty big muskie in there, but the crappie don't get that big. I used to fish it during college ice fishing. Um, and yeah, crappie don't get huge in that lake, but caught some 10 to 11 inch fish, which is always fun. Uh, but yeah, huge thank you to Trevor again. Unfortunately, due to the fact that my trailer was broke, I wasn't able to fish in May. You probably already know that. So this year there won't be any spawning videos because as you just saw in Wisconsin, they're already done spawning. They pushed off to kind of that first weed line. So let me know in the comment section below if you actually caught them during the spawn or if you were like me and you missed out. Um, also, be sure to smash that like button if you liked the video, and if you're new here, click that red subscribe button, click the bell, bell's going to notify you every time I post a video. Okay. Oklahoma videos are coming soon. We'll see ya.